What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This video has been in the works for a few months. I know a lot of you were like, uh, hi, where are you? This is finally a recap of the last two months ever since I got hair transplant surgery. The healing process for this entire surgery is a little bit different than your average like nose job or you get your breasts done. You don't get like instant results after a few months. It is a long process. There are some needles and blood showing, nothing too graphic. There are pieces of skin that are shown. So if you're freaked out by anything medical, do not watch any further. Since I can remember from like eighth grade on, I noticed that I had a widow's peak where my hair would come more towards a point and my temples were just kind of like bare of hair. So right now, I'm sure you guys are looking and you can see this darkness all around. That is my new hairline. I think as I got older and older, I just really didn't like it, my face shape changed, I got my lips done and my teeth, so of course my face appeared fuller and I've always just really hated my temples. So of course, if you can fix it, why the fuck not? If it's for you, then do it for you. If you don't like something about yourself and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna change it, then do it. If you're doing it for other reasons, because you wanna please somebody or someone told you you're ugly, Fuck the motherfuckers, girl. Do you, and I did me. So, long story short, I had hair transplant surgery. What does that mean? Me and the doctor are about to explain it all for you. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you guys a little reveal. So, if you wanna see how all of this happened and what the hell I've been talking about for months, then keep on watching. So basically, I had from ear to ear, I was cut and about an inch of skin was taken and all of those hairs in the back were transplanted. So what you're not gonna see in this video is that skin being cut out. It is a little too graphic for YouTube. We definitely will show you the skin in the Petri dish and all the follicles, which is really fun if you're into science and medical stuff, but you're not gonna see the crazy cutting in the back, so I wanted to spare you all of that. It was really crazy. Once they took all the skin from the back, they flipped me back over on my right side and then they numbed my entire forehead. So from like temple to temple here, they did a lot of injections and of course the swelling from the numbing kind of happened later on, but my entire forehead was completely numb. I was wide awake, I was watching movies actually, so I was just kinda like sitting there on the operating table and there was a big TV in front of me, I got to watch movies and I didn't feel anything while it was happening. So once they were finished outlining the entire new hairline, they showed me a mirror. Obviously I'm swollen, it's like a million little red dots, but I already could see the vision and I was already like so excited. Like I know it just happened and there was no healing yet, but I was already so stoked because I could see like the vision of what it was gonna be already and I was like, oh, thank you God, it worked. They took this diamond-shaped needle that Dr. Ziering actually invented. The blade I developed is a diamond-shaped blade. Mm -hmm. So I saw this, it looked amazing. This, the center of it is a diamond shape, uh -huh. and then the two ends are a little like um, almost like a paper cut on the uh, two sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it enables the graft to gently be placed in the center, and then the blood actually acts as a little bit of a glue, oh. and so it just seals it right in there. So, awesome. so once it's placed appropriately. It'll seal in. They went to town on this temples, girl. So where everything was missing, they filled in, and then they did, as you can see here, they did it lower and just kind of create a more feminine shape, which is what I wanted. And while it was happening, there was really no pain. I didn't feel anything. It was just kind of annoying to lay on my back for a long time, but obviously that's normal, and uh, I got through it. So as the needle was going through my skin, the numbness, thank God I didn't feel anything, but it was really weird, like the pressure of it. If you've ever had a tooth pulled and felt that like, oh my God, like you know this shit's supposed to hurt, but it doesn't, but you just kind of like hear and feel the pressure. So I definitely felt the pressure of it, but it didn't hurt, but it sounded really weird, almost like if you were rustling popcorn or like hitting styrofoam, I think is what Dr. Zering said. The pain was undetectable, but as, a, as the volume kind of wore off, I got to like go on my phone and I did a little Instagram video talking about it. I had the nurses like film the back of my head, which was crazy. And I was like, is this too much for people? And I'm like, it's Jeffree Star. It is what it is, girl. <laughs> Once all the incisions were done, they basically took all the follicles that they took from the back of the head and they implanted them in all the tiny holes. And it was so cool because 
each layer of holes had like a different number of hairs. So like the front of my hairline will be obviously thinner so it's more natural and then as it progresses it's going to get fuller and fuller. So it's crazy how they can literally mimic how my hair used to be. One person will sliver, so they'll take the strip of tissue that we have and divide it into slivers, like slices of bread. And then what we do is we divide those slivers into the individual flicker units. So mm -hmm. there'll be a sliver and then the cutters. And, that, and that's what's going on there. Once the surgery was done, I was really, really swollen and really exhausted. So Nathan drove me home and the first night was really difficult for me because you have to sleep at a certain angle you can't like sleep all the way down like laying flat because the blood will like rush to your head and it's gonna affect the surgery i just had so i had to like sleep at like this angle which i'm such a side sleeper i know we're all different we all sleep different but like I always sleep on my side. So for me, it was really difficult. Thank God for some indica medical marijuana and you know, some cuddles and I got through it. The next day I had to go to the doctor again for a follow-up and they said everything looked amazing. I was doing exactly what I was supposed to do. And I got the first laser treatment out of six to help the healing and I felt great. The whole front of my new hairline has no pain. It's just the back where they took all the follicles that is a little stingy, but you know, that's why Jesus created Vicodin, so I'm excited. I'm beeping, maybe I'm done. That week I had to go back a few times because they had to help wash my hair for me. Now that is so tricky because you're like, okay, all of these follicles were put into my head and I'm like, oh my God, I have my, you know, my original hair still here so it's like how do you wash and clean it so they actually help do it for you with like a shampoo bowl like you're at the salon with your neck back and they help wash it for you because it is very delicate until you know it all heals and you know fuses together they had to also wash all the new follicles and that skin because it was very tender and sore and like the skin after like days later starts to flake off and they have to actually help like pull that out so your scalp can breathe and heal properly. On my last day of checkups, I got to thank the doctor. And if you're watching this Dr. Zering, I love you. Thank you so much for taking such good care of me. I am healing amazing, you guys. And after that last checkup, it was scary because it's like, okay, now it's my job to heal myself correctly. And the thing is, the surgery takes months and months to fully heal. I did get the surgery in March, and so far I am having crazy results. I feel like a whole new person and do you guys want to see a sneak peek? So before I literally had no hair underneath this part and I'm like, let's just do it. I'm like, let me move this pink out of the way. This is like, come on old hair. Bam! Doesn't that look crazy? So this is all new hair growth. This was completely like non-existent and this is only like a month and a half of growth because First, the baby skin and all the little baby hairs had to shed, and then there was a period where there was like nothing. So it almost looked like how I did before the surgery, and then the hair finally started to grow. So it's been a long process, and now you know we're entering July, and um, I could not be happier. They were like, oh damn, that's growing quicker than normal. So I cannot wait to see this by like October when it's like full, fully grown, and just, you know, licking a little bit more itself. A few days after the surgery, I called the doctor and I was like, am I allowed to wear a wig? Because I had to go to this event with Beauty Blender and they were hosting an event for a new product and the singer Brandy was there and a bunch of other influencers and YouTubers. So I was like, I cannot go to the event with a bloody scalp. So the doctor okayed me to put on a wig and I went to my favorite wig shop in LA and uh, had a blast. So you may notice some of these wigs from my channel as I've been filming with a lot of these that I tried out in the store. And I'm like, hi, that blonde one, I need like 10 more of these. I'm going for like a racetrack vibe.
Like, if we're gonna stand out, we're gonna stand out. A few weeks into healing, I had a event to go to. It was a rock festival called Self Help, which is kind of like a little mini warp tour, kind of like a one day warp tour. There are a lot of vendors and a lot of bands playing, and it was in San Bernardino, California. Now, the cool thing about it is that is my roots. I come from that punk rock world, so it was really awesome to bring my makeup brand to, you know, a real, like, rock festival. I was unsure how it was gonna do, and we killed it. The response was so amazing. There were so many subscribers, followers, and fans, and customers that came and showed so much love. So I had an amazing time. And of course, I wore a wig to that event as well because my hair was not healed. I was actually really bruised and like had a black eye under my right eye. Thank you, Full Coverage Concealer, for saving the day on that one. I wear like a lot of makeup and stuff, and so then like I kept uh, following him, and I just like loved him because you know yeah. it's great. I think he's he's just great for it. for anybody who wants to be like different or kind of be themselves. It's a, he's a great like role model to look to because of how he is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look at love Jeffrey. She's an amazing person, amazing cosmetic line. I need to fucking buy some right now. She took a fucking selfie with me. She's amazing. That's all I need to know. He's beautiful. He's gorgeous. His music's amazing. His like his makeup is like on point. You know. Yeah. My name is Jeff too, but like nothing better than him. You know? How are you? Alright. I've been like a super fan of him since like um, probably since I was like 15. I'm 22 now. Bye, call me.